So the fact that there's a liberal arts university here in, in uh, Bristol, Rhode Island is just a, an amazing thing. But I think over the years what's happened to the university and how it's grown is really, is really impressive. And that's been, you know, through, through the series of presidents that you've had, now President Farish is doing such a great job. And they've always been supportive of the arts and they've been supportive of Anthony Quinn and his whole legacy being um, kind of connected with the importance of a liberal arts uh, education and so it's just such a wonderful organization to to be a partner with and, and then I've, I've loaned them some artwork to display the new global heritage hall which I think is such an awesome building kids just hang out and and um, you know it's kind of like study but in a in an environment that's beautiful and and you don't feel like you're in a in a concrete building just sitting there you know, dredging away at your homework. It can be surrounded by the water. How cool is that? You're, you know. Well, he started uh, painting and drawing at a very, very young age. He was six years old when he was making his first drawings, so sketching people's faces, um, you know, people that he saw. And I, that's really my belief is that his whole life he was an observer of people human beings, um, you know, he was interested in people, and so from a, young, a very young age, he would sketch faces he, of actors. His father was a cameraman at um, Zelig Studios, and his father died when he was 11 years old. Yeah, there wasn't a material that he didn't like working with. He'd pick up uh, stones off the beach and carve on them, and pieces of driftwood, um, you know, trees that fell down, he'd start carving away at them. And those things became then later on his inspiration for other sculptures that he did um, when he was selling his artwork. And um, but most of his life he did it really just out of the enough out of a passion for for wanting to transform nature and thing into beautiful things. But he just had this vast creative content that was just poured out of him. And I think that's what creativity is. It's just you know, something that you have inside. It's an expression of your inner self. You do it through uh, making films. Other people do it through writing. Some people do it through music. And I love supporting the school and, and love displaying Anthony Quinn's work there because I think there's a great connection.